Jason, welcome. What's it like playing at a club without a manager? Um, well, it's only happened three or four times in my career, and it's uh, it's always a, a, quite a, a sharp change. But this is football; changes can happen quickly. Playing staff, in in management, in ownership, and uh, you just try and um, remain focused on the job at hand, which is will will never change. It's it's getting points on the Saturday. Was it a surprise to hear the manager had been sacked, given the time of the season and that no replacement had been lined up? Um, well, like I said, I mean, this is football. You know, things change very, very quickly as players. Our only concern is what we can do on Saturdays, and the manager did a great job to get us to where we were. Um, but, you know, we, as players, we're not privy to the, to the uh, decisions being made. All we do is, is try and perform as players. And perform you must. Do you feel Reading can stay up this season? Yeah, I mean, why not? There's games to go. It's not mathematically impossible. Um, nobody would have, uh, nobody would have backed us to get promotion to the Premier League, let alone stay in it. We we remember that as players, and we know that uh, the belief in the dressing room is the most important thing, and that will never change. What players have impressed you this season? Uh, there's been many. I think Raheem Sterling coming through has been a, a, a big plus. I think um, Daniel Sturridge moving to Liverpool has been. He's one of my favourite players, but one of my favourite young players. Um, Jack Wilshere coming back from from injury. I think there's a lot of young players who are showing a lot of good form. Obviously, um, Van Persie has, has has been setting the world alight with his goals. Um, Gareth Bale. There's so many players. I think it's been an exciting league. So uh, we're looking forward to uh, to the end of the season, how things will progress, how it end up. You are outspoken in the battle against racism. What can this country as a whole do to fight racism? I think you're always going to have racism in, in society, um, which will probably follow on that you'll have some form of racism in football. I think the most important thing is that it's, um, it's hit with the, poss the hardest possible sanctions. Uh, I don't think that's been done as yet, so when that is done, then I think we'll be moving forward. What kind of action needs to be taken and who do you feel the message needs to come from? Well, I just think, um, you know, the, like I said earlier, the toughest possible sanctions. Um, People have various views, stuff they say and do at home is one thing, but to bring it to someone's workplace, to bring it to the football ground is not what we want. So um, if it is found to be from on the pitch or off the pitch, just as long as these people are hit with the toughest possible sanctions and f that football can give, then I think everyone will understand that that's, that's how these things are dealt with. Have you ever been affected by racism in your career? Uh, I think the majority of black players would say there have been. There's lots of things that happen. Um, um, not only on the pitch but in in and around football uh, I think you have to be vigilant against it and I think we have to recognize that uh, you know in as, as the years have gone by um, we need to, to deliver a strong message and, and we have moved forward with these issues but not far enough in my opinion and hopefully now uh, we're going to start to take a different take on it where do you see yourself in five years time <laughs> good question I'm not quite sure um, uh, I'm still enjoying my football. I've been lucky enough to do a little bit of stuff with the media and, and, and stuff with the, the union, etc. Um, with the PFA, so I'm not quite sure. I'll just continue to play my football and we'll see what happens at the end of it. And finally, Jason, you've been speaking to Footy Matters. Can you tell us why Footy Matters to you? Footy Matters to me because football is um, my passion. It's something that, I, that, that um, has always been prevalent in my life and always will be.